The trouble is, after you've captured an asteroid, is trying to keep that asteroid. But we will tame it. Oh guys, I'm Orbata, your Welsh engineer, and welcome to Kerbal Quest. Series 2, part 18, catching a pet rock. Yes, you guessed it, we're gonna capture an asteroid. That's awesome stuff, and I hope that didn't knock on the mic, didn't pick up. Anyway, let's get on with it. Now, as you can see what I'm trying to do here, I'm lining up the moon so we can get where we are on the launch pad because we're up on the equator, and I'm gonna align the launch site with that of the asteroid that's gonna pass. By the way, if you want to be a Kerbal, don't forget to write Kerbal in your comment. Otherwise, I won't be able to filter your uh, comment out and find it in the search results, which is how I add my Kerbals. No exceptions made, sorry. <laughs> anyway, now that we've lined that up, we're launching it. And I normally use MechChip to launch so we can get those pretty cinematic type launches in the beginning. However, I have to do this manually. So I'm going to make you sit through and suffer the entire thing as I did. <laughs> no, in fact, it is quite enjoyable trying to fly for again for the first time. Trying to fly properly for the f for an uh, asteroid intercept at an odd angle, which means that you have to get the intercept angle of the ascending node at close to zero degrees. Otherwise, if you have to do a plane change while you're in orbit, then it's going to cost you a lot more delta V. And we need that delta V to get the asteroid and change its orbit so it stays in orbit around Kerbin, because that's the entire mission. That's why there's a big, huge, three-pronged rocket on the top of this thing. Anyway, not only do I add your Kerbals, as you can probably see, we've got Jean-Luc Picard, Einstein, and Tijing De Jong in the, in the seats there. Also, we've got more Kerbals there, don't worry, we'll get through them. But I also read the comments out as well, from Sir Hoot Makoot, the 67th. Hoot! He says first. Yes, you are first. However, Frank Lee says first question mark. No, you are not first, but you are second. And I have to give third place to Brandon Mick Mike Sal. I said, wow, I've never been this early. No, you were third. However, Sir Hoot a lot did chuck in another comment. And this, this is a bit better to read out, so here we go. So how is it? So now that it's a new game, can Sir Hoot Makut Lot 67th and Sir Hoot Makut the 6th be added as Kerbals again and be put on the man or somewhere in a tree? We will see. I like I like to do in the small, simple missions like this one. It doesn't take so long to make a video out of it because I want to do other things. At the moment, I'm doing uh, revamping my space station tutorials because they are a bit old. Some people complain they're flipping out. So I might be able to add a bit more data uh, information on how to intercept it. Uh, rendezvous and docking, I suppose, is the hardest one. I'm flipping rockets out, which m people mostly complain about. So we'll get into that. There'll be one long video and one short video, hopefully, for that. Anyway, this is Kerbal Quest, not tutorials. As I show you how to do the setup, a rendezvous with, this, uh, with the asteroid. You saw I used MechJet, because you can use MechJet to change the time scale of that maneuver node, which is 104 days. So I added 104 days to that, and the intercept planning worked like well, well, like hell. Well, it worked. What is wrong with me? English not my first language of the day. Anyway, from Blue Scope 819, seventh comment. Are you? Well, I'd say you're fourth officially because you're the fourth actual comment. Kai Seagal, thanks for adding me as a curl. No problem. Gecko Echo Gecko says, Hey, can I get a Kerbal? Yes, you can. See, put Kerbal in the comment. So I will add him. And he asked nicely. That's another thing. Etiquette always ask nicely. Anyway, we're coming up on the asteroid, I think. And I didn't realize we're coming in too hot. It's going to be time to start burning. As I realized when we go to map view, where we're too close. How long will it take to burn? I create a maneuver note to find out. And then find out that we're too late. So we better start burning. And I'm probably a bit ahead on this, <laughs> the commentary part. But don't forget, this is post commentary because it's easier to do. I can speed up the videos, make you watch the awesome parts. I'll skip over the boring stuff. From Pug, I want to be a Kerbal too. No problem. The best gamer ever says, definitely not first. No, sorry, you're not. And one of my favorite commenters at the time being, because she always adds some awesome comments. And there you go, we've passed the asteroid, but don't worry, we'll be, we're close enough to get a proper intercept, which is good. 
and a crop flock Windsor, as she told me to say it. Uh, war, 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 Kerbal War. I love that idea. Screw pit space. I want to claim the chocolate from other people's lands. Woo, not to mention a Kerbal War would be good opportunity for me to share our creations with you. Once I fix my computer, that is. But even war could. But even space war could be great. Sorry for the huge comment to read. XD. Love your pie. And by the way, XD is sort of like smiley, halfy, lovely, uh, crying, laughing face thing, you get. Whatever it is, I don't know. It's laughing, isn't it, with the eyes closed? <laughs> but yeah, I've been planning on doing a Kerbal War series for quite a while. It's just that I haven't been able to work it out. I've always enjoyed doing this space stuff. But yes, I'm doing, seem to be doing the same stuff, so I might get into Kerbal War. But I'm going to keep it simple. It's going to be using hyper edit to get the, you know, the, the vehicles and the war everything in place so that we can intercept and do the proper battles. I might do it just on Kerbin, but if I can work out how to do war in space, then that's where I'll do. I'll do sort of like battles in space. The only problem is that uh, getting the intercepts to work because I want them to be independent. I don't want to control any of them. Although that might be fun, I want to be so that. The game decides who wins the war, so I don't decide. Because if I start controlling something, I can make it a lot easier for myself to win the battle. So we're not doing that. However, well, as I said, well, that'll work that out at the moment. We're going to do Kerbal Quest the missions like this. Perhaps we can do a spin-off from this to war when the new version of KSP comes out. And if we're absent, Azenb. Azemb, I think it is. Take a dual landing. Yes, we could. But we'll see. Don't forget, you can't land on dual, but you can land on the moons. Anyway, you captured the asteroid after scraping it. After we passed it twice, by the way. <laughs> yes, I've done some mistakes in this one. But we're la luckily enough, we have enough fuel. So, uh, what I'm doing by here is I've unlocked the pivot, and I'm trying to target the center mass using the nav pole. You can see the purple thing. Try to get the nav ball centered on that as close as possible. Once you've got that, that means you're not going to keep on flipping out control when you're boosting your rockets. And by the way, I haven't put RCS on this. However, I have put a load of RSES modules on this and a lot of extra power. Anyway, as we get this in trouble, and I didn't realize we have a lot of Delta V with this asteroid. I think where it is, when I first captured an asteroid, or not the first time, sorry, the one I built the base on, it was a huge asteroid. And once you do that, that asteroid takes your Delta V way down, because the Delta V depends on how much fuel you've got and how heavy your rocket is. So the asteroid is really heavy, then you're going to take a hit on the amount of Delta V you have. But however, because this is a medium size, we got lucked out. We had plenty of Delta V. But it's big enough to build a base on, which is what we're going to be doing next. First off, we have to secure this asteroid to Jing De Jong. He is an awesome engineer, Kerbal. First off, let's arm him up. He's going to fit these um, oh, octagonal struts, I think they're called. And place them on the, on the asteroid. Please put them on straight to Jing De Jong. Not like that, not sloppy work. Come on, we're an engineer. Should be doing yourself proud. Yes, that's it. Retry it. Anyway, from Walter Jimenez. Amazing mod, I'll be trying it out. What are the name for the parts that look like the Saturn V? The Saturn V in the last episode, the similar parts are from KW Rocketry Pack. It's an awesome mod. You can do sort of like NASA rockets with it. And they don't look so grey, you can see, so I've got some of the parts on here that look quite white, rather than greyish colour, which is awesome stuff, because, well, in space you want something white to reflect the sunlight. Anyway, let's get Swiss Cheese Kerman on the case. He has to secure the rocket to the asteroid, using these, oh, what do you call them, um, these links, these struts. You need two strut parts, attach one to the asteroid, attach one to the asteroid, uh, rocket asteroid and then link them together. As such, another awesome mod brought to you by Kerbal Inventory, but unfortunately it clipped under the asteroid. So it takes a bit of time to click on it. Yes, awesome stuff. 
Anyway, from Vulp of Lips Fox. Vulps Fox, sorry. Or by two, if you ever get bored of Kestry, a recently found a game you might like. It's called Planet Based. Yes, I've seen that actually, and it's you know, it might be a good game, but I haven't it's not one I have time to play. It's I enjoy these like open games at the minute that's not limited to you know, you have to build a base here. Yeah, it might be good. Might I might find it fun, but you never know because I like some uh, strategy games. And damn it, Swiss cheese, what are you doing? You knocked that off. Luckily, it'd be an engineer as he is, he can refit it and reconnect it. But unfortunately, I don't have time because I want to play other games like Elite Dangerous. I've just started getting to that, so I might be doing videos on that later on. I'm going to do tutorials and some other KSP videos first. From Benjamin P. Can I be a Kerbal? Set stupidity, stupidity to 100% in the menu. Also, name me Noob Kerman. No problem. And here we go for the next launch. Luckily, now that I've got the exact orbit angle of this launch, what I can do is use MechJep, use the autopilot to launch into that exact frame. The only problem is... MechJeb doesn't seem to like to launch at the right time, so I have to do that manually. And sometimes when you do that, you set the or you launch it from just as the orbit you're under that orbit. However, the because the planet rotates, you rotate away from that orbit and then you're out of alignment. And yes, you've got a huge payload on top. I know I should engineer them a bit better, but never mind. Because I'm gonna skip that launch bit. And we're going to do our mission to build a base. Now, if you watched the last episode, you saw me build a house on the man. Hopefully, we can do something similar on this one. I've put some of the, um, was it firmware base parts on here? And hopefully, the Kerbals can detach them and attach them to the asteroid. Now, I have to mention, I, even at this point, I knew that this was going to be experimental. So, yeah, we're going to have to find out. I am Billy Bob's is on this rocket. Anyway, let's name the Kerbals that we have on this mission, which I've just about neglected to do. Now, bling, bringing up my spreadsheet, we have Balaz. Smiley face. <laughs> yeah, I put that in his, uh, <laughs> in his name. We have Bo Crafter. We have Dr. Yan. We have Hansel74. We have Julius Boonman. To Jing De Jong, Swiss cheese. There. We have Jean Luc Picard. And I made him a pilot. Yes, he's the captain. We have Einstein. Because he's the brightest Kerbal of the bunch. We have Columbia. Sonovans. Kerbal. And we also have Billy Bob, who's on this rocket right now. Now, sorry I haven't bit bios. And what I normally do is bit bios and tell you what they are, but I didn't prepare any. Very sorry. And I can't think of anything right now because I'm tired. I am tired, but I'm enjoying us. Anyway, as we do a flip around, because I realized that uh, controlling that thing is hard. I should have a RTS on the blocks above, not just on the rocket below. Because controlling that, if you don't have the RTS sent around the center mass, then you're going to, you know, control's not going to be that good. When you try to shift left, right, up, and down, you're going to turn instead. So bear that in mind when you're engineering something. Okay, Solomon Stone says Kerbal. Yes, you'll be a Kerbal. Razars FDH can use Interstellar Mod after the new start with the new planets back. We will see. We will see. Depends how well we get on. Right, I realized that we couldn't detach those parts with the rocket free flight flowing, floating around. So what I do here is we're going to attach this to the asteroid, if we can. I find out that I can't use these links to the asteroid because it has to be one ship. You can't attach links to a different two different ships. However, I realized that we could actually do it with a... Oh, with what you call it, a fuel pipe. So you can attach these fuel pipes from the Kerbal Inventory mod and then you can transfer fuel, that's what it's for, but it also links them together so that they don't go too far apart. However, this can be dangerous. 
I've had rockets flip out of control because of that fuel pipe. So we have to be really careful. Okay, let's get him close. Well, this is the point where I'm still trying to link it up with the links, but it doesn't work. And while I'm failing at this task, make me a Kerbal called Ziggy Stardust, please. When I first started watching you, I thought you would have would have way more subscribers. That's how good your child content is. Thank you. Now, I'm not big because I don't post that many videos. That's the reason why YouTube algorithm doesn't post my videos everywhere and suggest it to everyone. Because at the first start, when I peeked out uh, my most subscribers, that was when I put a load of tutorials out. And because people, the game fully came out at that time, a lot of people were searching out tutorials on how to do it. That, however, you know, doesn't last long. Because the game's only new for so long. There you go, we've touched it. Well done, who's it? Columbia Kerman. Did I read out Columbia Kerman's name? Probably did, didn't I? Yeah, Columbia Kerbal. Kerman. Probably did, probably forgot. <laughs> But this is the point we coming out of control, damn it. It's even ripped the struts off our rocket. Luckily I quick saved it and quick load. Yeah, it's a bit of cheating, I know, but that's a bug, isn't it, really? So it's not something that's gone wrong. A ship won't go flip out of control because you connected a fuel pipe. Come on. Anyway, don't worry, uh, Dr. Dank Doritos, you will have Ziggy Stardust Kerbal. Tuna picking? says, make me a Kerbal called Eugene. Eugene? Yes, Eugene will be a Kerbal. And I don't know why I said you're in three times. All right, this is the experiment part. I've detached the part. However, without any ship to capture it, our Kerbal can't carry it to the asteroid and attach it to the asteroid itself. And we need two Kerbals to actually attach it. You can see I'm frantically trying to do it there. So quick save, quick load again. So what we're gonna do, I don't know. Until we get another rocket up there, there's nothing we can do. And anyway, even Hemandes says, pretty base. It's hard to make one on the mat to the man. Thank you. But uh, yeah, that is hard. But I have to say it's rewarding. Now I'm getting close to Jing the Jong. Says, can I be a Kerbal and explore more? Yes, you can. Don't worry, you were always a Kerbal to me, to Ding to Jong. He's a long-time subscriber, which is cool. Frank C. Gazio. Not to be in grammar Nazi, but you in man is pronounced ooh. Sounds like it because of two dots over it, you, called an umlet. It was a little play on words, moon, spelled differently, but pronounced the same way as intended by the devs. As engineers need good grammar as well. Yes, we do. And I have to say... Everybody called it the man. Oh yeah, I I deorbited this thing to see if it would survive. Did I leave her in? Yes, hopefully I did. Here we go. But yeah, but um, oh, was it the man? So I'm gonna call it the man because it everybody pronounced it the man, and it's easier to say. Anyway, say it for Sass dear. Hey, orbiter, remember me? Don't worry, I did not leave you. I'm just studying. Hope you're doing well in your studying. In two weeks, I will finish, and I'll be with you again. What are you doing watching my videos? Get studying. And if you want to be Kerbal, type in Kerbal in the description. Otherwise, I won't filter your comments out. That is your lesson for today. Studying complete. And if you like the video, crank the like button like an engineer. One more comment. Smeghead990. Oh, Smeghead, awesome name. Can I be Kerbal, please? And a badass one at that, too. No problem. And sorry if I didn't read your Kerbal out. And knit the comment out. But I'm more better, trust me, I'm an engineer. Hopefully I get to more comments next time round. But I'll see you in the next video.